Newton's second law, F equals ma, by kscience.com. This is a very useful equation that describes Newton's second law. This equation is F equals m times a, whereby the F stands for the resultant force, whereby the units for this is Newtons because it's a force. The mass is in kilograms, and the acceleration units are meters per second squared. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the normal contact force on the ball is equal to the weight on the ground. So we can work out the resultant force. So the resultant force is going to be 10 newtons minus 10 newtons, which is going to be zero newtons. And because no forces are being applied to the ball in either direction, the ball is currently stationary. However, what happens if we apply a forward force on the ball of 10 newtons? There's going to be a drag force acting on the ball due to air resistance and friction, which will be 5 newtons. So the resultant force is going to be 10 newtons going forwards minus the 5 newtons drag force acting on the ball. So the resultant force is going to be 5 newtons forwards. Because the forces aren't balanced and there is a resultant force acting on the ball, we can say that the ball is accelerating. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we've now figured out the resultant force acting on the ball, which is 5 newtons going forwards. But to work out the acceleration, which we're going to do now, we need the mass. So the mass of the ball is one kilogram. So the mass of the ball is one kilogram, and we know the resultant force, which we've worked out, which is five newtons. We now know that we've got the mass and the resultant force. So we've got enough information to work out the acceleration of the ball. So we've got F equals MA, which is five newtons, which is the resultant force, equals the mass, which is one kilogram, times by acceleration. So we can rearrange the equation for A. So A is going to equal F divided by M. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. So now we can substitute the numbers for the letters. So A equals five newtons divided by one kilogram. So the acceleration for this ball is five meters per second squared. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So we've now got another example. The ball has been kicked to the right. So it's got a drag force of four newtons. So we want to work out what the total force is that the ball has been kicked with. So we know that the mass of the ball is one kilogram and the acceleration of the ball is four meters per second squared. So now how would you work out the resultant force and then work out the total force out of which the ball was kicked? So F equals MA. So we know that we're looking for the resultant force so we know F is our subject, so it remains the same. So now we substitute the numbers in. F equals one kilogram, the mass, times by the acceleration, which is four meters per second squared. So one times four is four. So the resultant force is four newtons. Resultant force is four newtons. So to work out the total force that we applied to the ball, what we're going to do is add the four newton resultant force onto the force in the opposite direction. That will give us the total force applied, which is going to be four newtons plus four newtons. Forward force of eight newtons. 
And we can prove this by subtracting four newtons from the forward force of eight newtons. That gives us a resultant force of four newtons forwards, which is what we used F equals MA to work out. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. We can use the information in this diagram to calculate the resultant force acting on the ball. And we've got the acceleration, so therefore, we can use this information to calculate the mass of the ball. So we've got F equals MA, and then we need to rearrange the equation to make M the subject. So that means we do M equals F over A. Now we can substitute in the numbers. The resultant force, which is going to be 10 newtons minus 4 newtons, which equals 6 newtons. And we've got the acceleration, which is 9 meters per second squared. So now we can then put in the numbers m equals 6 newtons divided by 9 meters per second squared which gives you a mass of the ball of 0 0.667 kilograms. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.